Hello, Windy City travelers and explorers. I'm Andy, your friendly neighborhood tour guide with Free Tours by Foot Chicago. And today, I want to talk about how to get around the city. Whether you're coming on a trip or thinking of living here, there are a ton of options to get around, including options that save you time and money so you can see more of the city during your visit. If you're planning on bringing your own vehicle, I recommend downloading the Spot Hero app before your trip, which will give you the best exclusive deals on self-parked garages and lots. Parking downtown can be pricey, and so the best advice I have about parking your car is to either leave it at the hotel or place where you're staying, or find a parking garage offering an all-day rate in a central location to the neighborhoods you'll be exploring. Our public transit system makes it easy to travel, even for beginners. You might even find a taxi or a rideshare service like Uber, Lyft, or Via can get you from place to place cheaper than parking fees. In Chicago, we call our trains and buses the CTA, short for Chicago Transit Authority, or the L. The L is short for elevated because most of our trains are above ground, which means you can get some great views during your ride. The trains are really easy to navigate. When I moved to Chicago back in 2015, I had never taken any kind of city train or bus, and I was so relieved when I learned that it's actually not that complicated. Mostly because apps like Google Maps tell you exactly what bus or train to take and right where the stations and pickup spots are. Google Maps will be your best friend if you're making use of our public transit. In addition to using Google Maps, each train station has maps and schedules to help you find your way. If you're ever really confused, look around for a CTA employee or a friendly local to assist you. The first step to take before you board is getting your Ventra Pass or a single-use ticket. You can find a kiosk at any Chicago Transit Authority train station, including O'Hare and Midway airports. You pay a $5 fee for a new Ventra card, but if you register that card on the Ventra mobile app, it takes less than three minutes and you'll get all that money back as transit credit. I recommend getting a one, three, or seven day pass to give you unlimited rides and a lot less worry. As of 2022, a single one-way train ride costs $2.50 and a one-day CTA pass offers unlimited rides for just $5. So if you're planning on riding more than twice, it's clear to see the savings. Three-day passes are $15 or $5 a day, and a seven-day pass is only 20 bucks. There's nothing worse than hopping on a bus only to realize that you have a $0 balance on your card. So if you skip the day pass, the Ventra mobile app makes it super easy to reload right on the spot. Bonus, you can keep your Ventra card for your next trip. I keep a spare one in my junk drawer so that I can loan it to my friends and family when they visit. For trains, there are eight lines total. Red, blue, brown, green, orange, pink, purple, and yellow. For all the major attractions and events in Chicago, you can take a direct line from downtown. The red line runs north and south and has stops near all of our most popular attractions. The blue line goes north to popular neighborhoods like Wicker Park and then goes west to O'Hare Airport. Both of those lines run consistently day and night. Midway travelers will take the orange line to get downtown. It's not that often that you need to transfer lines, say from red to brown, but it happens occasionally. For the most part, you can stay on one train to get you from point A to point B. When you look on a map, you'll see how the lines are isolated, all coming into the downtown loop. We offer in-person pay what you like walking tours of the loop all year long. So check out the link in the description if you're interested. Speaking of interested, if you're finding this video helpful and want to learn more traveler's tips while exploring Chicago, be sure to click subscribe and like this video to help more people find us because helping people feels good. You can find more videos in the description along with more information on free tours by foot operations in Chicago and cities across the US and Europe. Thanks. To ride a bus, you'll use that same Venture card that you purchased from a CTA train station or cash. A single bus trip is only $2.25. If you go with cash, you'll need exact change, so be sure to plan ahead. It's good to keep a little cash on you anyhow for tipping and certain pay what you like experiences. Whether you take the train or bus, be sure to hang on tight. If you're standing, hold on to a pole or a hand strap, both feet planted firmly, and keep your knees bent slightly. I always say it'll feel like surfing the first time you do it, but then your body adjusts and soon you won't even think about it. 
Just a quick note on safety. As a tour guide, one of the number one questions I get asked about taking public transit is, is it safe? And my answer is, I've lived in multiple neighborhoods all over the city for nearly a decade. I take the bus and train everywhere I go. I get on early, I get on late, and for the most part, I've got no complaints. The trains are crowded during the day, so it's a much safer time to ride. And at night, I stay alert, just like I do everywhere in Chicago or any big city at night. My tip for travelers is just to trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. And if you have any concerns, up for a ride share or a taxi to get you back to where you're staying. The next way to get around is one I'd recommend only if you're really comfortable in city traffic. And that is our bike share, Divi Bikes. For $9.95, you can get a 24 hour pass for unlimited 30 minute rides. While they're a super fun way to see our city, keep in mind that you need to check that Divi bike in to a station every 30 minutes to avoid getting charged a fee. But there are plenty of stations all over Chicago with more popping up every day. Check the weather app for clear skies and warm temperatures if you're going to go that route. A memorable way to get around is the Chicago Water Taxi. Though it's not how locals tend to get around, it's an excellent way to get on the water if you don't have time for one of our city's amazing boat tours, which I think you should make time for. The water taxi drops off at Union Station in the West Loop, Michigan Avenue, the Riverwalk, Goose Island, Chinatown, and Chicago Avenue. You can buy tickets online or at any of those stations. They have one-way tickets, all-day passes, and special passes for 10 rides or a 31-day commuter pass. The last way I'd recommend getting where you want to go in the Windy City is walking. Chicago is a very walkable city, especially our downtown tourist areas. You can explore the Loop, Millennium Park, the Chicago River, River North, Mag Mile, Lincoln Park, Navy Pier, the Gold Coast, and more just by using your own two feet. But why do it alone? Check out our calendar and reserve a spot on our public tours for any of those neighborhoods. Or book a private tour. And if you do, be sure to tell your guide that Andy sent you, especially if your guide is me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.